All right, everybody. Hi, it's me, Anthony, and I'm here today to walk you through all the core tools that you have available to you on your Promethean Active Panel. Uh, there are more in-depth tutorials about each of these tools on this site, so I encourage you to go and view those. But for this purpose of this video, I just want to walk you through where to find each of the tools and give you really basic instructions on what each of these tools are used for and what you can do with them. Um, all right, so you see I have my Promethean board all set up here. And what I'm going to do to access any of these tools, I'm going to access them from the Unified menu. And remember, the Unified menu can be found here at the bottom. That's where I commonly get it. Uh, but it's also accessible from the left-hand side. So, and it's also accessible from the left-hand side over here. Okay. So um, each of those menus are exactly the same. The first tool that I want to show you is the locker. On your menu here is the first one that shows up. In the locker, when you tap that, you have access to all of your apps. So you're going to find all of your apps in the locker. Any new apps that you add are also going to be added onto the locker. So when you open, when you turn on your Promethean board right from the start, you have a core set of apps that are installed in here. You can add more apps from the Promethean store. And the Promethean store acts just like um, an Android app store, or if you're familiar, or familiar with the Apple products, um, the Apple uh, app store for iPads and iPhones. Um, they've curated this, so they've gone through what's generally available in the main app store, and just selected educational apps or apps that will be useful for teachers. So you can scroll through there, you can install any of these. Some are more recommended than others. There'll be more tutorials and more information about which apps you should install. Um, for now, just know that it exists there. So that, like I said, was found from your locker, and any of those apps that you install from the Promethean store are going to appear automatically in your locker there. Okay, so the next one that we're going to talk about is the profile button. The profile button gives you access to whichever profile you've signed into. Generally, the default one is called owner. If you would like to set up additional profiles, either for yourself or for substitute teachers or for other adults that are in the classroom or even one specific for students, um, you can do that in here. What you would do is you tap owner, tap on the settings gear, and then you can manage your users in here. The next icon that you'll see in your Unified menu is the Home icon. When you tap Home, you're going to be brought right back to this Home screen. And by default, it just shows you the date and the time. You can customize the wallpaper, and there's a tutorial on how to do that. It's pretty straightforward. It's in your settings, and you can set it to be whatever kind of a, a background that you would want to have. The next app that you have in your Unified menu is your whiteboard. So your whiteboard, when you open it up, it just gives you a clean slate here. You can add all sorts of things here with all any of these tools over here on the left-hand side. You can create a grid if you wanted to do that. You can change the color of your marker. And you can draw with your fingers. Or you can also draw with the included stylus here. Um, so it's completely up to you there. The next app that you'll see in the Unified menu is the Capture app. And what that does is it really is simple. You press the button and it takes a screenshot of what's appeared on here. So if you drew a pretty picture or instructions that you want to save for later or whatever else you would want to save that's on the screen, you just open up that unified menu, hit capture, and that's going to open up another menu here. You can choose to open it up in your whiteboard or just close it there. Those are all saved into your photos, which I'll show you where those are in just a little bit, right on the device. Another app that you have on your Promethean board is similar to the whiteboard, but it's the Annotate app. And what Annotate does, it allows you to draw over whatever is on your screen. So if you're on a particular website, or you have a picture open, or a map, or something like that, something that you want to highlight to the kids, um, you can use this to do that. Um, so I can open up any website, and I can draw over it. So if there's instructions that I want to highlight, or something else that is important, or um, want to have the kids come up to the board and annotate up something, that's the tool that you would use. That's the annotate tool. The next icon that you have in your Unified menu is your Source button. Your Source button is only going to have one option if you don't have any other devices connected to it. So you can plug in your laptop to any of these cords here. So you've got an HDMI cable, you've got a USB cord, um, you've got inputs on the front, so you can have um, you know, webcams or something like that. Um, but basically, the source will allow you to switch back and forth that. So if you have your computer hardwired into your Promethean board, you'd hit source and you'd see HDMI pop up there, and then you'd be able to switch to that and display your screen. The next icon that you have in the Unified menu is your screen share. 
Screen share is going to allow you to wirelessly connect devices throughout, from throughout the classroom up to the board. So you can have the kids, if they've created presentations that they want to share from their Chromebooks or their iPads, you can have, give them this join code, have them connect all the devices, and you can display what's on their screens uh, from their computers up to the board. So it's great for sharing, great for presentations and things like that. And the last icon that you have in your unified menu is the recent apps. Recent apps are just going to show you the apps that were recently used. So here you see Chromium, Camera, Settings, Promethean Store, Screen Recorder. Those are all things that I've used recently. So when I have recent apps, they pop up. There are some additional tools in addition to the ones found just in the unified app uh, in the locker that you're going to want to use a little bit more frequently. So the first one that I'm going to go over right now is the Spinner app. So the Spinner app is a floating app, which means it floats above what's displayed on the screen. So you can have one, uh, one app open and the Spinner app open over it. Um, and what it does is it allows you to set up the choices that you want it to have. So you spin it, and then it picks one of the choices. That's what you're going to do with that one. You can change that by tapping the little menu here. There's colors, names, numbers 1 to 10, vowels. We'll pick names so you can have your class in here. So if it's time to pick a line leader, you go to the Spinner app and you wait for it to make its selection and then you let uh, Ethan know that he is going to be the line leader for today. Alright, that's the Spinner app. The next one that I want to go over, the next one is the Timer app and it's found in the same way. You go to the locker and then you're going to find for Timer. There's Timer there. And Timer is another floating app. It's going to float over. So if you're giving the kids a certain amount of time to complete an activity, you can set whatever that is. You've got some frequently used times up at the top here, or you can use the arrows to change what you want the time to be. And then just hit play when you're ready to start, and then you can let this timer, timer go. It'll make an audible sound when the timer is up. The next um, app that I want to go over is called Activity Player. Activity Player is great. What Activity Player is, is it's very similar, if you're familiar with smart boards, to the activities that you find and create in Smart Notebook. There are a couple of ways to get the activities that you create or find in Active Inspire, which is the program that is used to create and distribute these activities. Um, you can either download them to your, uh, upload them to your Google Drive or put them on a USB drive and then plug the USB drive into here. In the tutorials that you watch that go into a little bit more depth of how that works, you'll uh, often hear them saying that they're plugging a USB in there, but you can just as easily access the stuff from Google Drive. But anyway, how that works is, you open up Locker, you open up Activities. So when you open up Activity Player and you haven't imported any uh, activities into the app, you're not going to see any that you're going to be able to play. But again, you're going to be able to um, get them from either Google Drive or from a USB um, stick. If you click, when you tap on Open, it's going to give you locations here on your board that you can open them from. So here I just have my videos and recent downloads on our internal storage. Um, you'd find that stuff here. Basically the easiest way would be to go into Google Drive and download it and then you'll have it here on your board and then just save it to your internal storage and then you'll be able to open it up from, um, from the activity player itself. And then the final app that you're going to use most frequently is Chromium. Chromium is uh, the Google Chrome for the Promethean board and when you open it up you'll see that it looks very familiar. You've got tabs up at the top it is the Android-based version of Chrome, so it doesn't allow for extensions or add-ons or anything like that. It is basically a web browser, uh, a mobile web browser. Hope you found that helpful. Um, I know it was a really quick overview of each of those apps, but like I said, the tutorials that are on the site, um, you'll be able to take, it'll take you through in much more detail, and you'll be able to uh, know exactly what you're doing there. If you need any help at any time, I'm happy to help. Uh, just let me know. Okay? Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.